Hey friends, thanks for listening to Eat Your Spanish. If you want to support our podcast, you can do so by subscribing to the show and leaving a positive review on your podcast app. You can also support us on our Patreon page at patreon.com forward slash eat your Spanish, where you can get exciting bonus content such as songs, stickers, and more for as little as $2 a month. Thanks for listening. Now on with the show. Hello, friends. Hola, amigos. How are you? Como están? I'm so happy. Estoy feliz. To be with you. A estar contigo. Are you hungry? Tienen hambre. To sing and play. A cantar y jugar. Cause on our menu. Porque en el menu. It's Spanish to be. Everybody sing. No, I said Spanish. Okay, eat your Spanish with us today. Eat your Spanish! With Evan and Vanessa. Hola, amigos. Hello, friends. Me llamo Evan. My name's Evan. Y yo me llamo Vanessa. And my name's Vanessa. Welcome to the last lesson of Season 1 of Eat Your Spanish! Today we'll be learning the names of a few different types of transportation. So most people use some form of transportation to get from one place to the next. There are so many different ways to travel in our modern world. So today we'll be learning the Spanish words for... Oh my goodness! Evan, could it be? I think so, Vanessa. That alarm means that one or more of our listeners' questions was an exact match for a word that we'll be learning today. Oh wow! Let's take a quick look at the printout. It looks like our amigos Clark, Spencer, Kenna, and Reef all guessed one of today's words. Let's take a listen to their questions all in a row. Hello, my name is Kenna. I was just wondering how do you say car in Spanish? Adios! I would like to say, know how to say car in Spanish. Gracias. Gracias. Adios. Adios. Hola, amigos. My name's Clark. I don't know how to say car in Spanish. Hola, amigos. Hello, my name is Reef. I wonder how do you say car in Spanish. Thank you. Way to go, amigos. You guessed one of the words that we'll be learning today, which is the word car. But it doesn't stop there. We're also going to be learning the words for bicycle, train, and airplane. That's right. First, we'll have a fun lesson together, and then we'll sing all of our words in a special Spanish song. Last but not least, we'll join Mrs. Elephant and Mr. Mouse on their final adventure of season one. We hope you all are ready to have some fun. Here we go. Spanish lesson time! So, Vanessa, how do you say the words car, bicycle, train, and airplane in Spanish? Great question, Evan. Before I answer, I want to say something important about some of the words we'll be sharing with you. Spanish is such an incredibly diverse and multifaceted language, and there are so many dialects of Spanish spoken throughout the world. So a dialect is a form of a language that is spoken in a specific region or social group. And since Latin American culture is so beautifully diverse, there's more than one way to say certain words. And some of them are the words we'll be learning today. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, it really is. Which words are you talking about? Great question. For car, you can say auto, automobile, or the most commonly spoken word, which is coche. So coche is the word we'll be learning today. For airplane, you can say aeroplano, or the most commonly used word avión, which is the version we'll be learning today. For bicycle, we say bicicleta, and for train, we say tren. Are we ready to practice them one by one? Ready. 
Okay, we'll start with car. In Spanish, we say coche. So repeat after me. Coche. 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 Great work! Now for bicycle. In Spanish, we say bicicleta. So repeat after me. Bicicleta. 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 Muy bien, amigos. Two down, two to go. In Spanish, for the word train, we say tren. So repeat after me. Tren. 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 Perfecto! Now for airplane. In Spanish, we say avión. So repeat after me. Avión. 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 Excelente, amigos! Yeah, excellent job, friends. I think you can probably guess what time it is now. We hope you've got your singing voices ready. All right, amigos, you've done great work practicing our new words. Now it's time to sing them in a song. In the first part of the song, called the chorus, I'll sing a part that sounds like this. Coche, bicicleta, tren y avión. So now let's try it all together. One, two, three, four. Coche, bicicleta, tren y avión. Great singing, amigos. Now, in the song, this happens two times in a row. So let's try that together. Are you all ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four. Coche, bicicleta, tren y avión. Coche, bicicleta, tren y avión. Muy bien, amigos. You all have such beautiful voices. So during the verses, which is the part of the music in between the choruses, we'll sing all about the different vehicles and the way we use them. But after each verse, we'll always sing the chorus again, so make sure you're ready for it. Are you all ready to sing the last song of the season? Here we go! There's no worlds to explore. Just 
leaves open any door. Coche bicicleta tenia avión. Coche bicicleta tenia avión. Hey, what's that? Where? Over in the distance. Oh, amigos, y'all want to hop on and go for a ride? We're going to your favorite place. See. Oh, that was so much fun. Yeah, it really was. Muy bien, amigos. That was beautiful singing. Did you all get to jump on the Eat Your Spanish trend with us? That was such a fun ride. Yeah, singing in Spanish is so much fun. It makes me feel like we're all part of a really big family when we sing together. Aw, yeah, I feel that way too. Well, now it's time for us to take a little break while our good friends Mr. Mouse and Mrs. Elephant take over the show for a while. That's right, and today's going to be super fun because Mr. Mouse and Mrs. Elephant will be going on a social distance picnic together to plan out a big vacation that they're going to take in the future. Hasta pronto! See you soon! Well, I've got a couple friends and don't you know If I told you who they were, well, you might say Aw, he's as tiny as a flower She's as giant as a house Yes, it's Mrs. Elephant and Mr. Mouse. Well, hi there, Mr. Mouse. I brought you a special Velveeta milkshake. Looks awfully rich, but I know you love cheese, so when I saw it on the takeout menu of J&J's Lakeside Grill, I knew it was just up your alley. Girl, you know me inside and out. How did I get this lucky? Mmm, mm, cheese. How are you today, babe? <laughs> oh, Mr. Mouse. Well, I'm just as fine as frog hair. How are you doing, sweetie pie? <laughs> I'm great. Mmm, thanks for that queso shake. That really hit the spot. No problem, Mr. Mouse. Did you bring the maps of all the places we're going to travel to? I just can't wait to finish planning our trip. I'm just tickled pink thinking of all our adventures. I can't wait to hop on that avion and fly to Scotland with you. Yeah, me too. And I was going to wait to tell you this, but I found a place that rents a bicicleta built for two. That way we can both pedal. Oh, Mr. Mouse, you're just about as sweet as they come. I can't even imagine how that's going to work, but I'm just so feliz thinking about our big plans. You know, I've never traveled with someone special like you. This is going to be a once-in-a-lifetime trip. I just, I know it. Yeah, I sure do love being surrounded by big, beautiful mountains. It makes me feel like the earth is hugging me. It's one of my favorite feelings. Wow, Mr. Mouse, have you been reading Shakespeare again? Nope, just a bunch of mouse magazines. Same as always. So, uh, what else you got in that picnic basket? Well, I'll tell you, that J&J's Lakeside Grill sure gave us some interesting food. I'm pretty sure I didn't order a peanut butter hot dog sandwich. <gasps> Did you say peanut butter hot dog sandwich? I haven't had one of those since I was digging in the trash can in New York City. Do you think I could have it, Mrs. E? Uh, by all means, Mr. Mouse, it's making my trunk smell rotten just holding it. Here you go. <laughs> Oh, wait! Oh, oh, whoa, whoa! Oh, oh, wait a minute! Ah! That, the goose got it! Give me back my sandwich, you smelly goose! Get back here, you little... Oh, oh it's heading for the water! My sandwich! No! Oh, oh I'm 
sorry, Mr. Mouse. It looks like the goose got away. Don't worry, though. I'll make you another one when we get back home. And look what I've got here. It's a bowl of spaghetti. Oh, hmm, spaghetti. Mm, no, not bad, Mrs. E. There you go, Mr. Mouse. There's something you like. Well, anywho, back to the trip. So once we take a Lavion, we'll land in Edinburgh, and then if we want to see Isle of Skye, we'll definitely need to rent a coach. Eh? Oh my good gracious, that will mean getting used to driving on the other side of the road. Oh dear, that might be a little bit stressful. Well, I guess we can manage. Go ahead and get that booked, will you, Mr. Mouse? Sure thing. Done. I'm so excited, Mrs. Elephant. People in Scotland speak with the most beautiful accent, like my friend Harriet. I just love talking with people from different places and getting to know new cultures. I haven't seen Harriet in so long. I can't wait to say hola to her. Oh, that's so sweet, Mr. Mouse. I can't wait to meet her, too. Any amiga of yours is an amiga of mine. I just can't wait to travel across the world with you, Mr. Mouse. I guess all we need now is tickets for the choo-choo train that runs all up and down the hills of Scotland. Already booked it, babe. Actually, I don't mean to put a damper on things, but all that food is sitting kind of heavy in my little mouse tummy right now. Oh man, even the goose over there looks like he's having a hard time digesting. <laughs> oh, oh, my poor little guy. You know, I just got an idea, actually. I was babysitting my little niece the other night, and she had a tummy ache, too, so I patted her on her back and... Well, let's just say it worked. Would you like me to give it a try, Mr. Mouse? Oh, yeah, I'm up for anything right now, Mrs. Elephant. Okay, so I'll just lift you up like this. Whoa! Ooh. I'm just gonna pat you on the back. What exactly is this supposed to... Oh, no. Uh, oops, excuse me. Oh, wow. I'll tell you what, Mr. Mouse, it works like a charm. Wow, Mrs. E, I actually feel so much better. You're... Well, you're just, you're the best elephant a mouse could ever hope for. You're just so kind to me. You make me laugh, and you take care of me. I think you are the most special creature I know in the whole wide world. Tell me, Mrs. Elephant, I love you. Oh my, oh my goodness, you're going to make me cry. <laughs> Tamo, tell me, Mr. Mouse, I love you too. <laughs> goodness i can't believe how beautiful that was <laughs> yeah that was so sweet and so gross at the same time <laughs> it's really special to tell someone that you love them and it's so beautiful to know that mrs elephant and mr mouse feel that way yeah it really is it makes me so feliz oh man that sound means it's time for us to say goodbye we had so much fun learning with you all today. Let's see if I can remember. We learned that car is coche in Spanish, bicycle is bicicleta in Spanish, tren is train in Spanish, and avión is airplane in Spanish. Nice memory, Evan. We also had so much fun singing our Spanish song with you. Singing together always makes me feel so feliz. And then who can forget our last little adventure with Mrs. Elephant and Mr. Mouse? It's so beautiful to see how much they love each other. Yeah, it really is. I can't believe this is the last lesson of the season for Eat Your Spanish. Sharing music in Spanish with all of you listeners has made this year so special. We can't thank you enough for coming on this journey with us and for becoming such special amigos in our lives. Yeah, thank you so much for listening, amigos. We love you very much. And don't worry, even though our regular episodes will be a little different until season two starts, which will be around autumn of 2020, you can stay tuned for our special summer episodes. Also, remember to listen back to the older episodes so you're fresh and ready for season two. Time to sing our goodbye song together. Are you ready, amigos? Here we go. Adiós.
amigos. Goodbye, friends. Hasta luego. See you later. Thanks for listening to the Eat Your Spanish podcast. You can support our podcast by visiting patreon.com forward slash eat your Spanish or by subscribing to it and leaving a review on iTunes. You can also find us on Facebook, Instagram, or on the web at eatyourspanishpodcast.com. Thanks for listening. Adios.